Hello and welcome to the next part of Women in the Classics. This lesson will be about the often misunderstood goddess, Circe. Circe is one of the most ancient Greek goddesses. She is the daughter of Helios, the Titan sun god, and Perse, a nymph and daughter of Oceanos. She is commonly depicted as a witch or pharmacist because her powers and magic relied on the mixing of herbs and plants to make potions. She is most famous for her role in Homer's Odyssey, in which she turns Odysseus's crew into pigs by having them drink cursed wine. She is usually associated with animals, plants, and herbs, and playing the role of the temptress, luring men to her island so that she can curse them. Circe was disliked by other immortals because she wasn't godlike enough. She spoke with a human voice and her magical powers were unusual and unnerved other gods. As a young and jealous goddess, first learning her powers, Circe turned the nymph Scylla into a hideous sea monster. Scylla plagued sailors, including Odysseus, for many years. For this act, Circe was exiled by Zeus to the island of Aiea for eternity. She lived out the vast majority of her life there, along with her beloved animals and the company of nymphs that were usually sent to her to serve as punishment for the crimes they had committed. The island of Aiea has many hypothetical locations. Homer described it as being in the east, but Roman writers identified it as being off the west coast of Italy. Circe received many famous visitors to Aiea over the years, including Hermes, Athena, Jason and Medea, and she even played a role in the birth of the Minotaur. But contrary to the mainstream narrative, Circe did not lure anyone to her island, and certainly not simply to turn them into pigs out of pure enjoyment. Rather, she had been treated badly by men all her life, gods and mortals alike, and developed her pig curse as a means of self-defense and the power to punish them for wrongs they had committed. In her 2018 novel, Circe, Madeline Miller does a great job of telling Circe's story from a new perspective. In Homer's Odyssey, Circe was visited on Aiea by Odysseus and his men. She turned his crew into pigs after feeding them dinner. In the Odyssey, no reason is ever given for why she might have done this. But the clever Odysseus, who had been back at the ship, arrives at Circe's house and charms her very easily into turning them back. Then he stays for a year, embraced by Circe as basically her boyfriend. Circe helps him with guidance for the next part of his quest, and some stories even say she bore him children. Traditionally, Circe is the one seen in this narrative as the temptress and seducer, not Odysseus. Here we can see the hero Odysseus chasing her after she had turned two of his men into pigs. Miller's novel turns the idea of Circe as the villain on its head. In Miller's book, Circe is attacked by one of Odysseus's men and curses them out of revenge. She then falls in love with what Miller depicts as an extremely manipulative Odysseus. There are a number of ancient sources from which we draw Circe's story. Many of them disagree on the details, but in any case, Circe became an archetype for the predatory female. Either way you tell her story, she is one of the few women in the classics with power of her own, power that is earned, not gifted. Circe has to work at her spells. They are a skill she has developed, and she is much more able to defend herself than even most other immortals. Perhaps this is why she is so often painted as the villain. She is a woman with agency, 
and skills that outmatch most others. She is a woman with the power to defend herself, and she does. And that, in the ancient world and today, is a very scary thing indeed. Thanks for watching this lesson. Next time, join us to learn more about Circe's niece, Medea.